Good morning. This is Blair with Live and Learn Gardening. I am trying out something for the pill bugs today. I've been complaining about them for weeks, and so I am trying to find a solution. And a friend of mine last night suggested that I use something called diatomaceous earth, which I have done before, but since it was raining so much, I thought it wouldn't be effective. But she said, even when it rains, um, even after the rain, it'll dry up a little and it'll be useful. So I'm going to try it, um, and I'm going to show you the process because it's more than you think this stuff. All right, I've also lost my voice, so that's fun. Um, but uh, this is uh, diatomaceous earth. I don't know if it necessarily, I, I mean, food grade is probably not a bad idea. I'm not sure it matters, but um, basically, I think what this is, is like ground up seashells. So it's really sharp. So I typically, if I'm messing with this stuff, I put on gloves um, just because my hands are kind of sensitive to things like this um like harsh soaps and stuff like that so i always put on a glove and this is a particularly non i mean it's like a leather glove so it's like real hard to get these are actually like work gloves my father-in-law had a whole bunch of extra ones he has a farm and um or a ranch i guess technically and uh he gave us a stack of these because they didn't fit him and they fit me great and they're great at keeping things like this out so anyway but this is the diatomaceous earth i put it in a easier to pour container i can use that big thing but it's just really hard to pour accurately so Let's get started. Yes, I did try the oranges again. Um, I came out here and squirrels were eating them, but look at that. Like, oh, oh and so many baby pill bugs too. I'm just going to uh, take this. Whoop. Oh my gosh, look what under it. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's so many. Unreal. Okay, well. The rest of you guys are not going to do too well. So this stuff does kill the pill bugs. It's not great on worms, but I mean, y'all, I have a serious problem. <laughs> like, look at this poor little guy. It had like six little babies on it, little baby pill bugs. So all right, I'm going to do is I'm going to first, um, what she suggested was push back the, um, the housing for the pill bugs, which is all this stuff. So... I'm putting a lot on here. It is going to look like it's snowed. Um, this should actually kill the pill bugs. Um, now i got to be careful here. See how I covered up the plant? Um, okay, I'm going to put lots out. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to knock off some of the stuff that was on the plant because I'm going to knock that off too, but it doesn't matter. Um, because otherwise I'm making it really difficult for the plant to live um, because it doesn't have its little, little solar panels. Um, oh, I'm going to come back out here and put a couple drops of water on that just to clean it off, but um, the plant's going to do a lot better covered in white stuff than it would if all these bugs ate it. So let's do another one. I thought, why aren't my um, seedlings coming up? Um, well, it turns out they did. If you dig in the ground here a little bit, they were just mowed down. Like, see right there, right there? They were just completely mowed down. So the seeds are germinating. They're just being completely destroyed. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a guy. I think it got mowed down too. All right. So we're going to... Around here. All right. I plant some more seeds in a few days. So these are my um, sugar baby watermelons. And again, I'm going to push back the, uh, the mulch a little. So the issue with mulch is this is like their home, the little pill bugs home. Um, so I'm pushing that back and then just making this. Think of it like I'm making, sorry, I'm shaking the whole camera. Um, I'm making this area a wasteland for the pill bugs. It is, it is a desert. They shall not cross, hopefully. Like, look at that. There's like a little baby pill bug eating my maturas. No, see, it's taking so much energy that my plant needs from its first couple of sprouts. <sighs> first couple of leaves. I don't mind pill bugs generally. They're very good at like, they'll have dogs. They're really good at like 
eating dog poop and like cleaning up your yard <laughs> it's really wet out but like this is it's not okay all right snowed over here we got this all right even these guys they're not new babies but like i saw this morning there's a bunch of pill bugs eating on the branches like oh yeah see look dude like no get off the plant actually i have to go get more guys today she's like but first i flicked them off <laughs> and then god they're on every plant so annoying all right so i'm just gonna i really wish i brought my tri tripod really think about how shaky this was gonna be And I'm just coating the whole, the whole area. I gotta go get more. Wow, look, it snowed in my yard. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking in this situation, more is more. Um, anytime, okay, so I might get a little overkill in a couple places, but anytime I saw like a stack of pill bugs, especially around the outside edges, so they like to live like right there around the outside edge so I didn't just do around the plants I did kind of this whole area again the goal is to make this kind of a pill bug wasteland um, what it does is it gets inside their their shells I think and dries them out so it's it's gonna kill them um, but like wait, there's one on the plant oh my gosh Drive me nuts. But yeah, it looks like it, it full on snowed out here. So I planted probably 10 beans over here. Um, this is the only one that survived and I've been protecting it with like, there's, you can't see it cause it's covered in, but it's covered in aluminum foil around the base. And that's the only reason this one survived. I caught it, put the aluminum foil around the base, but still they've been eating it like crazy. And like even this um, onion, like they're eating all the brown. I just need to pull this guy out of the ground, but um, so there's that one. And then I don't know if it works on, if the stuff works on ants, but there was an ant pile here. So I'm trying that out just for fun. And then here's an overview. Um, so yeah, this guy's a little, little covered up, um, but I think Again, in this situation, more is more. But look, like the pill bugs are crawling all over it. Hopefully it works. We'll see. That one, that doesn't even have any plants in it because they killed them all. And then these two guys, I really hope this works because I don't know what else to do at this point. A little bit at my wit's end. Very quick update on the diatomaceous earth. I do think it's working. Um, I still see pill bugs in here, but there is no damage on these plants. So, thumbs up for me. All right, it's pretty warm today. I think it might be even 90. Um, so, this plant looked a little sad, so I did turn the water on for a second, but I think the diatomaceous earth is working. Um, I think, I don't think these sprouts would be here if it wasn't there. So, I think it's working here. Um, these guys also are a little sad because of uh, how warm it is out, but overall, I do think the diatomaceous earth is helping. Um, there's been no further damage since I put it out. All right, last guy, and yeah, I think it's working. Um, I don't see any pill bugs around the general area. Granted, it is a lot hotter and a lot less wet today, but um, overall, I do think it's working.